Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Leanne. If you're new here, I'm Leanne Radcliffe, the one and only. That's not true, as you all know from the last video. So today we're going to be going to um, Guangzhou in Jiangxi area of Guangzhou, which is a really cool, fun place. If I had any, if I was to pick anywhere in China to live, that's where I would live. Um, so I've just gotten ready. Um, so I've actually done the makeup on the, on here so you guys get to see that too um so yeah let's get into it oh big hugs <laughs> all right see you guys soon let's get started with the day and now i have not done my hair because like i said i'm going for a haircut and it looks like a fluff ball joys of bleaching so let's start the makeup so first things first i'm gonna do skincare i've got some really bad dry patches I've got my makeup bag. I know I'm at my makeup desk, but you know, some people need to do some makeup. So, so make skincare I'm using at the moment is from Kmart in Australia. At the moment, I'm living in China, but I've still got this, so I'm going to use it. I do find it's very good. It does what I need it to do, so that's the main thing. So, um, when I go back to Australia, I'll probably get some more because it's actually really, really good. Um, I suffer from very, very dry skin. So, um, if I could, I would buy more expensive and obviously more nicer stuff, but literally, it, it's completely soaked in, like, gone. Soaks so quickly into my skin. Now my moisturizer. Ooh, it looks like an alien. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, eyes, like seven eyes, sort of thing. Yeah. So, the game plan today so, we're getting ready to go. We're going to Jananxi because I am in dire need of a haircut. Jananxi is in Guangzhou, so we're going there. Um, I like the hairdresser there, that's why we're going there, so there's that. So, I packed this because I was going to get dressed and ready the other day um, at work because Lewis was taking us out for dinner, but um, I changed my mind on taking it to work only because there's been things going missing at my desk, so uh, I'm like... Well, I don't want to risk any of this going missing because a lot of this is quite expensive. So I use two primer. I use um, Instant Moisture Glow Hydration from YSL. And then for my nose, I use Instant Matte Pore Refiner because i got really big, big pores on my snout, basically. So I find this does... The job for that. So it's really, really good. And you don't need a lot either to do this. So. I actually slept in today. Um, first time in a very, very long time. Um, my children were out playing. So I'm like, okay, well, while they're getting along, take advantage. Uh, I was a naughty mummy. I ordered a McDonald's. Um, they don't usually eat McDonald's. I find they go off it very quick. But they haven't had it in a while. So I didn't think it was a necessarily like, oh, uh, you know, they, like they're having it every single day, which they're not. They eat at school. So they get a lot of meals at school. So they get breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, late snack and then they go home sort of thing so um the school's quite well um oh, might want to go wet a beauty blender let's go so i just wet it inside the bathroom so, gosh. And that gives that primer time to soak in and do what I need it to do. Okay, let's get back to it. Be 
big beauty blender. I um made it a bit holy this one. Oh, this is my outfit today. I know I tend to wear this dress a lot. This is my personal favorite. I've been saying that, so yes, I still have glitter on my eyes from last weekend. What is with the glitter? Now I've got a new look going. So I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. Um, I absolutely love this eyeshadow primer. It does the job fantastic. It doesn't leave your eyeshadow patchy. And it looks great. Well, it brightens up my eyes, that's the main thing. Yes, I have a lot of dark patches, so there's that. Now while that's doing that thing, I'll really put some concealer on. This is a UNNY club. It's actually from uh, the Japanese Asian shop, Miniso, which I absolutely love and adore Miniso. They mm -hmm. are fantastic. Not all their products are great, and that's the little applicator. And I love it. I mostly put it on my dark circles. I have a lot of dark circles, guys. Um, I really don't usually do it like this. One of my work colleagues at work, um, when he found out a YouTube channel, he asked my YouTube channel name. And, um, so if he's watching, hey Addy, hey Perry. They're really good people. Um, I work with a few different people, but whenever I need help, they're very, um, happy to, like, give me any help that I need um so it's really good um and vice versa so if they need help I'll do it for them too like there's no you know ifs or buts about that like if they help me I should help them so I'd almost do anything for them so yeah they're just really good people. Yeah. It's a little bit like it may lighten the area under my eyes a lot, but I'd rather look light around my eyes than pitch black, which is how I feel it looks half the time, to be honest. Now where is the foundation? It's here and I'm using the Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in color 20 Classic Ivory. Um, I find because um, as a, even though I'm a kindergarten teacher and I'm working as an English teacher, which to me is very stupid, but oh, not much I can do there. Oh, that's a lie. I could do something about it, but there is no point. Because, after all, in China, you're not going to get a job as a kindergarten teacher. You're only going to get a job as an English teacher. Obviously, I am not qualified to teach English whatsoever. But this is what I have been left to do. Um, I prefer to be a kindergarten teacher. Um, that's all I've ever done, and it's what I love to do, but they don't need me as a kindergarten teacher, so 
I am resorting to English teaching, which is not what I am used to teaching. But I still get to work with the age group I like. So I guess that is a bonus in that aspect. So, yes. Because obviously, you know, being a mum and then working with children, it, it does wear you out, in all honesty. Um, and then trying to do your videos on top and because my Instagram is obviously bigger than my YouTube so there's that so I try to keep up to date with everything on there and I do post a lot of work photos on there um, for people to see what it's like living and working in China which is you know it's it's not all it's cracked up to be like you'll hear stories back home going, oh you know it's great to work in China um, I think it depends on the kindergarten you're at to be honest so yes I have to use a hydrating foundation yes I do pat my face for a long time it's only because I like it to seep into the skin and not look so over the top. No, I do not have a ring light, so I apologise for me. I do have a ring light, but um, it's a bit wobbly, guys. I could get on Tower Hot and order a new one. But um, this one was given to me by my sister-in-law, which is... So I do... I keep it because it's from her. Um, pretty much all it is, pretty much. Because it's from her, I keep. <laughs> Time to bake the under wraps, guys. And as that's when that's baking, I will do my eyeshadow. I'm thinking of using my Jaclyn Hill palette for my eyeshadow today. Um, only because her Morphe collab with her um, Morphe eyeshadow palette, I think it's a 35 pen one. Um, I've got two of them. Uh, it's actually beautiful with the colours. I absolutely love them. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favourites to use the colors oh my god the pigment in the color that's all i'm gonna say the pigment guys the pigment so, so i've got this palette it's jacqueline's i love jacqueline here on her, i like her highlighters and stuff so there's that so what to use first find a fluffy brush so this is the nude by nature brush this is a crease brush so it's perfect for in those creases and i think i'm gonna go maybe for a neutral color and possibly do something a little bit more i don't know yet but i do have a more crazier palette so we might go in with this one which is silk Creme. Let's see what I mean by those colors are so pigmented, guys. Like pigmented. Sometimes I just relaxing the gando with makeup seriously does anyone else have that where they just need a day with just just play with makeup honestly with my job sometimes i come home from work and i feel so crap just so crap from the day like seriously like i love the girls i work with but um Sometimes I get really kind of like over it and I miss home more and more. But that doesn't mean I want to 
feel that way when you move from somewhere like maybe Australia to China. I would say that's very common. Now we're gonna darken. I think we're gonna darken it because it's already quite. Um, we might go in with a bit of. I don't know whether I want to do a bit of green, which is enchanted, or Central Park. I think we might go for Central Park. It's quite a cute colour. And slowly blend that out. Because obviously we don't want to look like we have a black eye. Which, because I'm very pale, it usually looks that way anyway. more pretty and this central park color you don't need a lot of trust me guys you only need the tiniest amount of this color in your crease because I'm telling you now it does the job beautifully god I keep doing that ugly ugly squeaky voice thing I don't even mean to I just do it I think it's that concentration when you do your makeup. Okay, I'm thinking of doing a bit of green on the lid because obviously I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to take the enchanted colour, which is the greeny colour. I'll leave a little bit there because I'm going to do liner, so... And do not come at me because I'm not a beauty guru, okay guys? setting spray which is once again Anastasia Beverly Hills like I said I really like um, her products so and then I'm gonna use Diva which is a beautiful obviously it doesn't come up on camera very well The enchanted color, just blend it out with, and just make sure it's beautiful. Oh, trust the process, okay. Obviously, do kind of like cheat a little bit with my liner. I use a stamp liner. Obviously, liner is 
I've got to be a real pro with liner to get it perfect by now. I have not reached the level yet of amazingness, so... Obviously I cheat and I do that and then I grab my liquid liner which is I actually don't know the brand it's all rubbed off I've had this for a little bit so there's that That's how I do my liner. This is my eyelash girl, it's just a cheap one from Kmart, so it does the trick. Alright guys, I'll come back and I'll show you the end look after it's done. See you soon. So here's the final makeup look, tell me what you think. If you want a full tutorial and not a quarter record tutorial, let me know. Um, we'll quickly do an outfit check, give me a sec. Um, I like the green on the eyes, I think it turned out pretty good. I do like more of a red lip. Obviously my hair is not done because I'm going to go for a haircut and get it restyled. So then you'll see that as well before and after. So yes. This is the outfit. It's my fake skins. Still looking very snatched after my surgery. That's the mess that I've just made doing my makeup. Like I said, I like YSL, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Jaclyn Hill. So some of my most favorite products. So yes. I had everything in here, but my daughter threw it on the floor, but it's usually here instead of there or there. So this is what I'm wearing out today. I got my dress, my Chanel bag, which is very full. We have my camera in there because I need to get a, a USB thing so I can plug it into my computer, which my husband only just got me. My husband's wearing just shorts and t-shirt, son's wearing shorts and t-shirt. They're pretty much dressed the same. And my daughter dressed herself. Then I want to go to big hair. And he's I want to go blue hair, blue one. They have to do their hair. All right, let's get going. Shiny, 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 shiny. You finished. finished. Hey guys, currently at the penthouse. Obviously, it doesn't look pretty from outside, but the view is actually all right. Not too bad of a view, but you can go this way. Uh, they rented it out to squatters and stuff. So they kind of destroyed the apartment. No, Sophie. My children want to climb up to the far top. I'm like, yeah, no. So I'll 
show you from up to down. So currently we've got to renovate it. This would make a good little office. Definitely needs some love. So it's like three floors, including the far top floor, there's four, but it's more like a balcony sort of thing. I love the railing. Definitely need new light pictures. And you go down this flight of stairs, there's obviously more, as you can see. It's quite of a big place. Most old homes have this in China. So you can go this way. So we'll go this way where there's a balcony and this is really pretty. And then there's a small little room here. My father-in-law was saying it was my sister-in-law's room. It's really pretty. Needs a bit of work. And then you've got the balcony. There's obviously a hand washing sink here. And that goes not all the way around, I don't think. I'll tell you. Yeah, not all the way around. And then you've got this little glass door room, which is in dire need of some TLC. Definitely not being loved or looked after. And then you've got the shared bathroom. Definitely needs a new toilet. Basin needs a bit of love. I think this is the master room. And then you've got the bathroom. At least it's the one floor that has no squat toilet, which I think is amazing. And the room splits into two parts. So I think this is like the bedroom and then this would be like a study sort of thing or if you've got a baby and then obviously you've got your own personal balcony where you put some pot plants and sit out so that's the second floor I'll take you down to the ground floor and again this is just such a stunning look I like the lights and the stairwell as well And then you've got this little window looking thing, like it's up, similar to upstairs. You can see it's not been any love. And then you go here. This is like the living room, door entry sort of thing. And then you've got this little door, which leads you to another room, which I like the exposed wood there. Very cute. You need it like a little under the cove thing. The kitchen, which is actually bigger than my kitchen, to be honest. And then this is like a walk-in sort of pantry. Yeah, definitely walk-in pantry. You put your fridge, your freezers and that in here. And like I said, this floor has a squat toilet. It's fine if you just need to do a wee. If you need to do a poo, you'd have to go upstairs. Well, I would have to go upstairs. So that would be like your dining room, sitting room, and then this would be your lounge room. It's very small. It's okay. And then you have another room down here, which is quite cute. It's a, obviously needs work. Believe in miracle. Obviously in China, they don't know the meaning of S's. And then like your pot plants. So this room has its own balcony. So I definitely would not give it to a child. Not unless that door's continuously locked. So that's our penthouse tour. So I haven't been to the hairdresser yet, but I will go to the hairdresser. And then they've got a thing with water features. They believe it's good luck or something, or brings fortune. So yeah. And yeah. All right. We're at the Greeny Ray Cafe in Janan Si. It's my gorgeous husband, my gorgeous little boy, my little princess. Hello. And this is the cafe, it is so pretty. 
sell foreign foods like Mommy. Western food, like spaghetti and so on. They even have lasagna. The menu. It is so beautiful here. Racing car up there. Do you enjoy that, darling? Yeah. What's your drink? Um, wrapping and um, coconut juice. Milk. Ice cream. Milk. Oh, very nice. And some spaghetti. Some crispy garlic bread. A John John on the plate. <laughs> and Sophie asking for YouTube. <laughs> mm, very yummy food. Can you finish all your soup because I'm going to put the spaghetti for you. Looking chips, yum. Divine. Getting a lemon tea, of course. We're in Minnesota and the amount of toys. The kids wanted to come in here to do birthday shopping for me, but they're really looking for stuff for themselves. You want the good guys? So I just had my hair cut. I came to salon for my hair cut. It's shorter than what it was, but definitely a lot better than before. So. And husband still looking sexier than me. Talk to you guys when I get home. Do you like sitting on the train? Yes. Yes? I like sitting on the train. You want what? What in the train? Super hero on the train. Don't touch, don't touch. Look at the sun here. What we do in Australia when we want something savory, get McDonald's fries and McDonald's ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Try to, hi, hi, hi. 
So I'm finally home. I'm about to go to bed. We'll go for a shower, go to bed, do all that jazz. Um, had my hair cut. It's up because we've been sweating. It's like hitting above shoulder length sort of thing. It looks a lot better. All of the um, dead ends are off from being bleached, so that's a bonus. So it's a wrap. I'm going to go have a shower and climb into bed and I will see you all in the next video. Tomorrow's my birthday. I most likely will film the day tomorrow but in a different video. So bye. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.